Hey guys, I'm back. It has been a minute. And by that, I mean it's been five months since I uploaded a YouTube video. I know it is, you know, I've just, I feel like I say it all the time, but really I've been so busy with work and with whatever else. I've just different things going on, but I really want to put a bigger focus on this because it's what makes me happy and it's what keeps me creative and it's kind of just what keeps me going. So I definitely am going to put a bigger focus on this in 2020. That is one of my main goals. So today I am going to be uploading a Shein haul, another one. I did um, a pretty big purchase from them. I bought about 10 pieces. I have just been so impressed with Shein lately. I feel like every time I purchase from them, I'm not disappointed. There's maybe like one or two pieces that I have to send back sometimes just like because of fit and stuff. But I bought a lot of really cute things. I bought a lot of like really pretty pastel colors and like springy and bring on the color like i am so excited about these pieces so if you would like to see that please keep on watching so first of all i am so obsessed with these shoes i actually wore them today and they were so comfortable they're super fun oh my gosh i have dog hair on them because of my dog but so cute they're loafers they have a sun and a moon i just think they're so different i I'm obsessed. Like I want to wear them every single day. I bought these actually in, I did go up a size. I'm usually a size six and just to play it safe, I bought a size seven, which was perfect. So I did go up a size on these. So if you're interested in this style right here, definitely recommend going up because they do run a little bit small. So I'm very glad that I purchased the size seven. Just wanted to do a quick little close up on the embroidery and the details. They are so pretty. So next up, I bought some really awesome little booties. These I did purchase in my correct size. I bought them in a size six, but oh my gosh, I love them. I'm so obsessed. So the heel, I love that it's a chunky heel, so it's not gonna be uncomfortable wearing them. I actually bought another pair like this in just like a white leather and I can wear them all day. Um, but yeah, that's what these, oh, almost dropped them. <laughs> that's what these look like. That's the color. It's like a really pretty peach thinking of wearing these right here with a cute little top a skirt you could even do it with like a little graphic tee some jeans throw these on and it's a cute outfit so very versatile very cool color um yeah i don't know if y'all watch scream queens but is this top not screaming chanel oberlin to y'all like to whoever watches it this is my favorite top in the whole world like it's so cute it's so fun and it looks great with jeans and like some cute little booties. I'm also thinking of doing it with a little white skirt and these boots, or I could even wear it with like my white leather boots. I also bought this headband from Shein a couple months back and I've worn it quite a bit. I just think it adds perfect little, little touch to any outfit, so. Here's just a quick little close up of the blouse. And I feel like what I love the most about this one, I spent, I think seven dollars on it i think i spent like six or seven dollars on this and it doesn't look poorly made like the material is great the little feathers up here it's not it doesn't feel like cheapy like cheap fur or anything but yeah that's what the top looks like up close so next we have this really pretty purple spring dress i was actually debating if i should keep it or not because it does fit me a little bit big but I decided I'm probably just gonna get it taken in where I need to. So let me adjust it to like how I want it to look. So this is pretty much what it should look like after it gets altered. I might pick it up a little bit too, just because I just feel like it's a little bit big in some places, but I think it's really pretty. I think that the material is really nice. I think this is perfect for any like upcoming events that you might have, like a little spring wedding or anything like that, or even just to wear at work, like I feel like I'm gonna wear this to work just because you know I'm extra and I feel like I'll just show up to work in this with like some heels and you could definitely do that too, dress it up, dress it down. But I love the material on it, like I said, but good quality. And I think I paid $20 for this one if I'm not mistaken. I'll put the correct price right here. Not bad at all. And I think it looks, I think it looks really, really cute on. For this one, I had to back up my camera a little bit because I want y'all to appreciate how pretty this dress is. This one is a little bit big too. I'm gonna get it altered for sure. But 
I am so obsessed with this one too. It's so pretty. This one too, this is great for like any event that you might have or anything like that, but me being extra, I feel like I wanna show up to work in this and just be like, hi, how may I help you? And just with this super bougie little dress. But definitely not something I would usually wear, but I just thought it was such a pretty little dress. Um, and then just with like a nude heel, like these, I don't know if you can see them, but just with a pretty nude heel. Love, 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 love it all. I wanna live in all of it. Next we have this pretty little blouse. I mean, I just have been so impressed with Shein's quality lately. Like this top looks like it would be a higher end blouse. I spent 20, 15 to 20 dollars on this one. And just wanted to do a quick little close up on the details here. Last but not least, I purchased this skirt with, there we go with a scandalous little slit right here. It does go higher than I thought it was gonna go, but I'm not mad at it. I think it looks really cute still. I would style it exactly like this with a denim jacket, a floppy hat, and with some Converse, just to keep it a little bit more casual since um, I probably wouldn't feel the most comfortable wearing this skirt this short with like some heels or anything like that, but to each their own, maybe I would. I don't know, I would have to figure it out, but I really do like it just styled more casually like this. I think that it looks really fun, looks really girly, and I think it's a good little transitional outfit from winter to spring. Where was I? Where was my mind right there? I think it's a cute transitional piece from winter to spring for sure. Well, that is it for my Shein haul. I did purchase a couple more pieces other than those, but I am returning them just because they didn't fit me the best. Um, they were a little bit big on me, but I did get a few people message me when I posted my Instagram story um, with like, oh, just shopped at Shein, whatever. I did get a lot of people message me saying that they were uncertain, like they just kind of were iffy about buying on Shein. I totally understand. That's how I was at first too, like last year when I purchased from them, but I have been consistent happy with everything that I've purchased. I think everything has been such great quality. I feel like they've gotten even better um, over the year that I've been shopping with them. So if you have not shopped with them yet, I just recommend reading reviews, making sure, you know, that you're checking to see that other people are saying that like, oh, this piece is great or oh, this piece runs a little bit big or whatever it might be. That's your best bet. Just read the reviews, um, feel it out and get a couple pieces check them out. I definitely recommend it if you're balling on a budget like me and you want to look cute, but you don't want to spend a ton of money. Um, I definitely recommend uh, going on Shein, buying a few pieces, like I said, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment down below on what your favorite look was. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe to me and I will be uploading more videos. I pinky promise, pinky promise. I will be posting more. Thank y'all so much. Bye.